Hello everyone, this is a Whirlpool Roper Dryer. And it was making a banging sound like a boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom when I had it turned on. These wheels right here, they wear out. You can go to appliancepartspros.com and get them in about two days or less. See right there? See where it's peeled away? Look at that. All that all that stuff right there. This the drum. See it sits this sits right on top of it. And if that wheel's gone, it's like hitting a drum with a stick. It makes all kind of noise. So just got the new wheels today. And they come with the little plastic clips. There's two of them to take it off. Let's see if I can pop one off while I'm filming this. Okay, I just stuck a screwdriver under that, popped it off. You get new clips with the wheels, just slide your wheel off. Here goes the other one, on this side. I'm going to stick a screwdriver in that, the same way. You got the new one, so don't worry about breaking it, if it breaks, but... This one's kind of stubborn, don't want to come out. I stretched it out real good, it came right off. Yeah, but look at this wheel. Wow. Now they got other videos with this particular dryer showing how to take it apart right here you pull your lint screen out again this is the roper it's about a 325 dollar dryer i got it low it was three years old i'm not buying a new dryer when i could spend twenty dollars and about half hours worth of time to repair it but anyway take your lint screen out you gotta push this thing here to get your screw hole lined up. You got two screws here. You flip it up like this. There's another video on there. You can see where he takes the the belt tensioner. You gotta watch how you took it off. And it's got two five sixteenths screws right here. This holds your door, this holds your door on right here. Right there is where the 516th nut goes. And once you get them off, right here you got you got a little clip here. You just grab the door, pull it up. It's going to come right off this track. And this belt tensioner it just clips on right here. Clips back on. It'll probably come off when you pull the belt off of it. That's what happened to me. But obviously, I'm going to get a shop back, clean all this old burnt up rubber from the wheels. 
out and put the new wheels on it. I should be in business. Now this back here, when you put that on there, be careful with this felt stuff right here. You don't want to tear it and you want to make sure you want to make sure that it's all the way around there. You might have to take your little take your little putty knife and put in there. Actually, one other thing I forgot to mention. See these clips right here? When you first flip the top of this dryer up, take that putty knife and just push it in there. It's like a spring release. You push it in there. And this side too. If you use a screwdriver, just be careful. Don't put too much force on it. You just push it just a little bit and the top pops right off of it. So, anyway, this is the end of my little repair video. The Roper Dryer. And the wheels I got from Appliance Parts Pros. $12 plus shipping was 20 bucks. No. And these wheels that come with four clips, the plastic clips that you put over it. So, anyway, happy repairs, everyone.